Arcadiana is Ali Bear. It is 639. If you're just tuning in this morning, you're going to love this place. It's in Grand Coteau. It's a unique bed and breakfast, and we're going to send it to Al. He's got a full tour. Hey, we're here at the train wreck in in Grand Coteau. Uh, this is such a cool place. Carly Viator is with us. Ben Trant, who owns this place. What a great idea. Ben, I just love this idea. And we're in the caboose, right? We Tell are. Tell us about the caboose. Yeah, so this is a 1920s bay window caboose. It was the last caboose to run on the train line that, that used to go through Sunset. Um, and it was, uh, it was, it seems to be, if you see outside, it was wrecked and left on the side of the tracks and picked up and now we're putting it to use here. You know, this is cool. Again, this is a little smaller than the last one we were in, but it is so nicely done. So everything is smart in here. Let's check, we're, we're talking about the bathroom. I mean, people love bathrooms. People love bathrooms. <laughs> so this one's different. It's called a wet bath. It's European style. So we had to get creative with the use of space. So efficiency is key. And in this bathroom, the shower, everything is in one space. So you kind of squeegee it and reset. Great use of space and something different and just feels like you're in Europe, kind of. I do, and you know, I, again, it's a little smaller than the last one, but everything is so smartly done. Oh, God, where do you find these old beds? Different places, and Handy Dandy Ben here was able to paint and kind of refurbish them for us to match. Um, I love the bird mural in this one, and we have a map of the Mississippi, and some more custom artwork as well as some communication themed uh, retro elements here that Ben could kind of tell you about in relation to Caboose's van for communication. So what, what did they communicate on the Caboose? Right, so the Caboose followed at the end of the line of the train and it needed to communicate with the engine for the things that it, it saw happening with the train. So you could see some old directions on, on how to communicate with the engine and as well also these bay windows that are in the in the side of the caboose or so that the the workers in the caboose could look up and down the train. Now this phone, is this something they would talk to the engineer on? It is. Oh how cool. I love that. Now the other thing I love now look at this. This is a leather Samsonite suitcase that Corley so smartly put legs on, made a table out of. I love these, love the retro fan. I gotta tell you, this is a great place to come go back in time, have some fun, relax. Hey, you know what? We're gonna go back to you guys in the studio. This is one of the coolest places I've ever been to. I love it. 